Bienvenue, Karibu, welcome. Welcome to the Kamoa Kakula project, our pride and joy. Through this video experience, we are delighted to host you on a tour of our flagship project in this beautiful country, the Democratic Republic of Congo. During this tour, you'll meet some key members of our leadership team. Our team is managing a workforce of about 5,000 people, mainly Congolese people, who are excellent. At Kamoa, we pride ourselves in always providing a safe environment for our communities and employees, even during this challenging global pandemic. There is no better place at the project to illustrate the magnitude of Aveno Mines undertaking than here at Kakula North Decline. The Kamoa Kakula Copper Project is a joint venture between Aveno Mines, Zijin Mining Group, Crystal River Global Limited, and the DRC government, which spans over 400 square kilometer mining license situated at the western edge of the Central African Copper Belt approximately 25 kilometers west of the town of Kolwezi. This is how it all started. Our geologists have been exploring the Kamoa Kakula resource for over 20 years. What a remarkable journey it has been. And from what my colleagues tell me, it is far from over. The Kamoa deposit, originally discovered by Ivano Mines geologists in 2008, is one of several very large, near surface, flat lying, stratiform copper deposits discovered to date on the Kamoa Kakula mining license. The other major deposit, Kakula, is being fast tracked to commercial production with the initial 3.8 million tonne per annum mining operation scheduled to produce first concentrate in the third quarter 2021. Kamoa Kakula currently contains an estimated 1.4 billion tonnes, grading 2.7% copper, for 80.7 billion pounds of copper in indicated, as well as 315 million tonnes at 1.87% copper for an additional 13 billion pounds of copper in inferred at a 1% copper cutoff grade. At a higher 3% cutoff, the current combined indicated mineral resources for the Kamoa Kakula project now totals 423 million tonnes, grading 4.68% copper, containing 43.7 billion pounds of copper. At the same 3% cutoff, Kamoa Kakula's combined inferred mineral resources now total 17 million tonnes, grading 3.51% copper containing 1.3 billion pounds of copper. The recent delineation of indicated mineral resources at the Kamoa North Bonanza Zone and the Far North Zone continues the long history of exploration success at Kamoa Kakula. The initial indicated mineral resource estimate for the Kamoa North Bonanza Zone includes 1.5 million tonnes, grading 10.7% copper at a 5% cutoff. We see an excellent opportunity to add further shallow, higher grade copper resources in the northern portion of the mining license in the general vicinity of the Bonanza Zone and the Far North Zone. Results, leaders, transformative. As you can see here next to me, the Kakula ore stockpiles are well underway. Development of the Kakula copper mine, the first of multiple plant mining areas at the Kamawa Kakula project, is making excellent progress. The first underground access drives intersected Kakula's initial high-grade ore zone at more than 8% copper in April 2020. We are now rapidly advancing on the construction of a 3.8 million ton per annum processing plant and other infrastructure. In December 2018, I was standing on this exact spot when there was nothing but bush. 
Here, on surface Escacula South Decline, it is hard to imagine that the North and South Declines will soon be connected through tunnels projecting from this entrance. The Kakula North Mine access drives 1 and 2 are interconnected parallel tunnels being developed from Kakula's main northern declines. These tunnels provide access to Kakula's high-grade ore zones. The two south perimeter drives being developed from Kakula South Decline, both the tunneling systems are progressing ahead of schedule and are expected to be joined in late 2020. Kakula's ultra-high average feed grade over the first five years of operations is projected to be 6.6% copper and 5.2% copper on average over a 21-year mine life. The Kakula thick ore body is only about 3 to 400 meters below surface and is flat lying, allowing for relatively easy mining. The mineralization of the Kakula resource is richer at the middle implying that crews will be mining the highest grade, six meter ice slice of the ore body. So far, we have three access points to our resources. The two declines at Kakula North and Kakula South, and this decline at Konsoko Mine, which is the second mine on our 400 square kilometer license. We plan to extract this remarkable resource in multiple phases and expanding the processing plant on a modular basis. During phase one, we will mine 3.8 million tons per annum from the Kakula mine, and during phase two, we plan to add another 3.8 million tons per annum, totaling 7.6 million tons, of which 6 million will come from Kakula and 1.6 million will come from Kansoko. There are further plans for expansions up to 19 million tons per annum by developing additional mines at Kakula West and Kamoa North. Underground development at Kakula is being performed by Congolese mining crews operating large capacity semi-autonomous mining equipment such as Epiroc Jumbo drilling rigs and Sandvik 63 ton dump trucks. The majority of mining at the underground Kakula mine will be drift and fill using paste backfill to support the mined out areas. There also will be a relatively small portion of the mine that will incorporate room and pillow mining. We're standing here at the east truck tip where the ore is being tipped into the underground apron feeder en route to the conveyor belt. To construct the east tip, 360 cubic meters concrete was used for the civils, including the bin lining, and a total of just under 97 tons of steel were used to complete the platework of the chutes, plates, and liners. The apron feeder transfers the ore to the sacrificial belt where it continues onto the main conveyor system, which has a capacity of 2,000 tons per hour. As a joint venture, we are committed to building modern, safe, mechanized mines that will showcase responsible green mine development. Kamoa Kakula is unique as it combines ultra-high copper grade in thick, shallow, and relatively flat-lying deposits, allowing for large-scale highly productive mechanized underground mining operations. The ultra-high copper grades and underground mines mean that Kamoa Kakula will have a small surface footprint and use a fraction of the power, water, and consumables and produce far less tailings than comparable large, low-grade, open-pit porphyry copper mines currently in operation or under development elsewhere in the world. In addition, Kakula's tailings will be mixed with sand and cement and pumped back underground to fill voids and help support the underground mine. This method will significantly reduce the environmental footprint of the Kakula tailings facility. We are committed to building the Kamawa Kakula project to industry-leading standards in terms of resource efficiency, water and energy usage, and minimizing emissions. We are blessed with incredibly high-grade deposits in areas that have an abundance of clean, sustainable hydropower potential, providing us with a distinct advantage in our goal to become the world's greenest mining company. Success. Development positive. Well-being.
Here you can see the construction of the 3.8 million tons per annum concentrator plant scheduled to be commissioned in the third quarter of 2021. We are currently just over 50% complete with the plant civil construction and have recently started structural installation in the flotation and thickening areas. All of the major equipment has either been delivered to site or is en route. Detailed metallurgical test results indicate that the chalcosite rich ore at the Kakula deposit will achieve copper recoveries in excess of 85% and produce a copper concentrate with an extremely high grade. Planning to ensure that concentrate shipping routes is ready for export to market is well underway. In the short to medium term, our product will be transported by road via three potential corridors, Durban in South Africa, Dar es Salaam in Tanzania, and Walfus Bay in Namibia. In the long term, a combination of road and rail transport through Angola is under consideration. Opportunities. Plow. Unique. The financial team is the dynamo of Kamawa Kakula, ensuring that construction on this vast operation proceeds according to budget and time. The overall capital budget is 1.3 billion US dollars. Around 80% of the required commitments have been placed and the project spend is within budget. The Kamawa Kakula project is set to yield outstanding financial returns, benefiting from the deposit's significant size couple ways, exceptional copper grades, and low C1 cash costs. Approximately 4,500 employees and contractors are currently working on the construction of the new Kakula mine, of which about 90% are young and brilliant Congolese nationals. You are about to start a tour of our training center, a growing feature we proudly developed to support our dedication to elevating these hardworking people. As part of Kamoa Kakula's extensive training program, apprentice miners learn to operate Kakula's fully automated double boom jumbo drills on a computerized simulator in the project's new training center. A comprehensive training program is also in place to increase the number of local employees in management positions. At Kamoa Kukula, we are busy building a world-class mine. For a world-class mine like this one, we need to have high level of skill. It's a mechanized, automated operation. For that, we need this world-class training center that we have created. We are doing intensive training with our people and the skills development plan that's falling into place nicely, is there to benefit our workers, which are primarily the Congolese people. I think where we are blessed, we have fantastic DLC employees. The level of capability that's been deployed here is as good as anywhere else in the world already. It is important for all of us to ensure that a new level of skills training and apprenticeship programs are made available for our young Congolese people. Progression. Life changing. I am thankful. Kamoa Copper intends to power its mines with clean, sustainable hydroelectricity through the Modingusha project, which we are currently refurbishing. This will eventually deliver approximately 78 megawatts of power to the national power grid. The progressive recommissioning of the turbines, fully refurbished and modernized, with state-of-the-art control and instrumentation, is on the way and is expected to be completed in Q1 2021. 
under the direction of Ivano Mines, Zijin Mining, and with the DRC state-owned power company, La Société Nationale d'Electricité, SNEL. We are proud to be the appointed engineering firm dedicated to the upgrade and refurbishment of Mwadingusha. Clean and renewable hydropower is the best energy solution to support our development priorities as we continue to look for ways to reduce our impact on the environment and produce the copper our world needs. Industry leading. Amazing. Seule excellence. I'm standing here with Dr. Patrick Kasongo Ngoy at the Kamoka Kula Medical Facilities. Dr. Patrick and his team were instrumental in the successful mission to tackle the COVID-19 pandemic. We take the health and well-being of our employees and contractors seriously. We proactively instituted a isolation and quarantine system based on good practice standards and ensured that we have the appropriate equipment to test and treat patients if the need arises. We realize that without the ongoing support of our host communities, the development of the Kamoakakula mining complex will not be possible. In 2010, a vision started taking shape to establish a livelihood program in Kamoakakula's host communities. The fish ponds we are viewing now is testament of decades worth of collective effort between the Kamoa team and the local community who work together to create shared value. The main objective of our Kamuakakula livelihood program are to build sustainable communities, increase the food security, and improve the living standard of the people surrounding us. Local community farmers are equipped with training and startup kits with the facilitation of Kamoa's agronomists until they are able to independently farm. These farmers also receive business training and ongoing support from Kamoa's sustainability team. We also focus on preparing local small businesses to be part of our supply chain. Tujenge brick manufacturers are delivering over 45,000 brick per month to help build Kamoa Kakula. We are proud to be the first customers for these hardworking entrepreneurs. The livelihoods projects initially began with the plantation of maize. We have now replicated and expanded the highly successful model to include an array of vegetables, fruits, poultry, honey, and fish. The vision is to continue to expand these projects and to diversify into other business opportunities, such as agro-processing. Le projet d'Alvi Wood de Kamoa Kakula a lancé deux programmes pour nous, les femmes. Le premier consiste à l'élevage des poulets de chair et la ponte des œufs, et le deuxième à la plantation des bananes à large échelle. Ce projet permet aux femmes comme moi d'améliorer notre niveau de vie and educate our children. The livelihood program also forms an essential part of our livelihood restoration initiatives undertaken at Kamoa Kakula as part of the resettlement and economic displacement activities resulting from the loss of access to fields due to mine infrastructure. Joy, empowering, community development.
Ivan Remains is in a privileged position of owning 100% of the exploration right for this massive land package you can see behind me. The Western Foray Lines has outstanding geological potential and is situated next door to our Kamoa and Kakula discoveries. Kamoa Kakula already has been independently established as the world's fourth largest copper project and is still growing. It has copper grades that are the highest by a wide margin of the world's top 10 copper deposits. Our exploration model for the geological features controlling the high-grade copper mineralization in the region reflects the accumulation of in-depth proprietary geological insights gained by Ivanhoe's exploration team during nearly two decades of regional exploration. Given the early drilling success at Makoko, we are highly confident that we have the knowledge required for additional exploration successes in the Western Foreland area for many years to come. Ivanhoe's philosophy is to think big and think long term. Our geological team has done an outstanding job of executing our strategy to continue to add shareholder and stakeholder value by keeping the drill bits turning and delivering spectacular exploration results. At Kamoa Copper, we're busy with phase one of many. We believe that this company will become a massive mining district, which will be strategically important for the DRC, the government and its people, as well as our strategic investors. I think we've started well, and it's gonna be a fantastic project. Thank you for joining us on this site visit experience and accompanying us on our two decade journey. For more information on all our projects and initiatives, please visit our website at ivanomines.com.